And I am not like blown away by the glare from it all. <laughs> to um, Alessandra. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't remember. Overall, I am loving Alessandra. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Shaquelle YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a review of Alessandra by John Renault and showing you a couple other wigs that might even compare to it a little bit. But before I jump into it, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, if I'm being honest, my absolute favorite wigs all the time are these long layered looks with these sort of face framing, almost like longer curtains bangs I just for me they are like my home I just love them and I really do love Alessandra so let me talk about the color first I am wearing this in the really beautiful color called strawberry shortcake and it's the color code 27 MB so what this color is is basically a uh, golden blonde if you look up close you're gonna see lots of golden blonde tones in here as well as some medium to darker red almost reddish golden brown and if you look really closely I don't know if you can see any there's even like a little bit of platinum like sprinkled throughout here I'm gonna come up close it's such a pretty color so if you are into these reddish brown auburny strawberry tones this is a really beautiful color. Now, if you really love the color um, Shaded Ice Pumpkin Spice by Raquel Welch, know that this color is not going to be quite the same as that. I'm gonna show you the difference here. This is Shaded Ice Pumpkin Spice, and you're gonna find that this is going to lean a lot more of an orangey, coppery red, whereas this is more of a reddish brown, golden blonde tone. So here's the difference between them. They are two really beautiful colors, but not the same. All right, let's jump into more about this wig now. So this is made with John Renault's synthetic fibers. They are not heat friendly. You cannot put, you know, regular heating tools on this without melting the fiber unless you're doing it at a really, really low heat setting. If you're putting any heat on this, I would recommend something like a fabric steamer if you're trying to get out any frizzies, trying to straighten it, trying to curl it. If you need help on how to use a fabric steamer with your synthetic pieces, I have made a video on this before, so you're welcome to go back and check that out. I can even link it below for you too. Now, one thing about plain synthetic fibers in comparison to heat-friendly synthetic fibers is that they are going to typically be a little bit more shiny than your heat-friendly synthetic fiber. Especially when you first take it out of the box, you might notice a bit of a glare to it. <laughs> um, usually when you first get them out of the box. They have a little bit of a silicone coating on them to give you that brand new, fresh, smooth, beautiful, um, new hair shine to it, but it can be a little much sometimes. So if you do find that the synthetic fibers are a little bit shiny, then I definitely recommend getting some dry shampoo and spraying it all over. And that's gonna help sort of matte that down and dull it out a little bit. But I also find that colors that have a little bit more depth and dimension to them are not gonna be um, as glaringly shiny as the colors you get that are just sort of one straight color. This color in particular on Alessandra, although it's a little bit shiny, it's not overwhelming and I am not like blown away by the glare from it all. <laughs> now this is said to be a medium density. However, I do find it more on the lighter side of the medium density. But one thing you will find on this is a little bit of permatease. So it's not a lot, um, but there is a thin layer throughout your wefting here. On the top, you're not gonna find any permatease at all because we do have a full monofilament top. So whenever you have those hand-tied portions of a cap, there's not gonna be any permatease where that is. So right on the top, it's a full monofilament top. You can change the part wherever you want and there's no permatease here. Um, you will find just a small, small amount of permatease at the crown, but really it's mostly situated just throughout the body here. I'm gonna spin for you so you can see all of this beautiful piece. Now, earlier on, I was talking about how much I love these longer styles with sort of the face framing layers or the curtain bangs. So we do have a little bit of that going on here. Of course, they are a longer curtain bang. You're gonna find that up at the front, this bang here is about eight and a half inches long. And then it gradually goes into lots of really nice layers here. 
On the sides, it's going to go up to about 13.75 inches. From the crown up here, we're gonna have about 10 and a half inches long. If you can see that. And then from the nape, so the back of your neck here, we're also gonna go as long as 13.75 inches. So it is a nice long piece. And the reason why I do love these face framing layers in these longer wigs is because it makes it more natural, in my opinion, to put them up in a ponytail or a bun because those layers in the front are gonna come forward, make it a little bit more dainty, and it's also going to cover your hairline at the front a little bit. And I just find the face framing layers are just, they're so pretty. Okay, now I already did talk about that full monofilament top, but I did not mention this really beautiful lace front. Here is the lace front. I love how it's not so dense. So when it's not so dense, it makes it really easy to pull back and off of your face. It's gonna make it so there's not like a huge thick chunk of hair at the front. So it's a little bit more sparse, which gives it some a more natural appearance. So here's that lace front. It does extend a little bit into your ear tab. So it doesn't cut off right at your upper temple here. It does extend a little bit into the ear tab, gradually melting into that ear tab, which is a really nice feature. And of course, with these lace fronts, it gives you that ability to style it off of your face if you want to. Now the fit of this is fitting very true to average. I am a petite size. I measure 20.5 inches in circumference, 11 and a half inches front to nape, and 11 and a half inches ear to ear. Although this feels just a little bit big on me, it's not too big. I can definitely bring this in a little bit and I will have just a bit of bulk in the rest of my cap, but the circumference will be able to fit me just fine as long as I bring this in. But very true to average and could probably fit just a little bit above average as well. Let me take this off and just show you what this whole cap encompasses. <laughs> so here's that full monofilament top up here. And then around the perimeter, you do have some closed wefts and you're gonna have just a touch of permatease up here. But like I mentioned, there's not a ton of permatease here. It's mostly situated throughout the wefts, but just a small layer. Here's that lace front that you see extending into your ear tab here the velvet ear tabs, which make it nice and comfy cozy. We do have an extended velvet nape as well as some Velcro adjusters. Okay, now if you are loving Alessandra, but maybe you're more of a fan of the heat friendly synthetic fibers, then you're gonna find it is pretty similar to Mesmerized in terms of the style. Um, it's a similar length, Mesmerized might be a little bit longer, but we do have the same sort of face framing layers at the front, lots of long layers in this wig as well. And it's just an overall beautiful long style. So if you are a fan of these longer layered face framing styles, definitely check out Mesmerized if you prefer the heat friendly um, synthetic fibers, or you could also take a look at Sugar Rush by Beltress. This is another heat friendly style and the cap is almost identical to um, Alessandra. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> so this cap is pretty much identical to Alessandra with your monofilament top, lace front, open wefted cap, velvet ear tabs, velvet nape, but this, this one has pull adjusters instead. So I'll put this one on for you. It does have beautiful face framing layers at the front and nice layered style throughout as well. You will find that Sugar Rush is a lower density than Alessandra and does not have any permatease at all. Now I am wearing Sugar Rush here in the color Champagne with Apple Pie. And I did forget to mention that Mesmerized, what I was just wearing, is in the color Shaded Wheat. All right, I'm gonna put on Alessandra one more time for you guys since that's what this video is all about. Overall, I am loving Alessandra. It is a really beautiful long piece. Um, just know that with synthetic fibers, especially these long ones, they are gonna tangle. They are gonna mat at your nape and you are gonna have to maintain them. And the best way to maintain them is by detangling them with a wide tooth comb or even just your fingers. That's gonna help get the tangles out. You will find that over time, the ends are gonna get frizzy and frazzly. And in order to fix that, you do need to use some steam on them. And like I said earlier, go back and refer to my whole video I made about using a fabric steamer on synthetic fibers. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys in choosing a new longer style for you. If this is something you're interested in, then make sure you go ahead and visit us at chiquel.com, chiquel.com, 
www.ca if you're in Canada or chicpaul.com.au if you are in Australia. But for now, I'm going to head out and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye now.